Hey guys, so today I just want to do a video of um, my before I get my surgery. I'm going tomorrow to get my septoplasty, rhinoplasty surgery. And I kind of just wanted to make a video about like the whole process through because I've watched a lot of videos like this where people have kind of explained the process and it's helped me a lot to kind of prepare myself for the whole thing. So I just want to talk about um, what I'm going to be getting done first. So I have a deviated septum as you can see it's pretty bad. And I have, um, this nostril's almost completely like, closed off because of, it's bent so far. And also, um, so they're going to be fixing that, straightening that. They're also going to fix my pinched valve right here. As you can see, it's kind of pinched in the center. And they're also going to be removing my mole, um, trimming my turbinates, which are the bones inside of my nose. And, um, reshaping like, the top of my nose right here, like the sides here, so it's not so wide here. So that's what they're going to be doing. Um, let me show you. This is the front. This is the top. And I'll show you the sides. <clears throat> yeah, so that is my nose. And I'm a little nervous, but um, from what I've read so far, it's not going to be terribly painful as much as uncomfortable. I won't be able to breathe out of my nose for like a couple weeks because um, you get the packing out after a week after your surgery but then you know it's still swollen in there so you usually can't really breathe very well for a couple weeks after that so <clears throat> I'm preparing myself for that I've been trying to kind of breathe out of my mouth only for you know the last couple days for a little while just to get used to just breathing out of my mouth and it's really weird but um yeah so that is what I'm getting done um, and I'm just gonna go next through right after my surgery and then um, the days after that until I get everything taken out and then probably about like a couple weeks after that I'll also do another video for that so you can see the end result so yeah please stay tuned for the next part hey guys so here is my next follow-up video so I got my surgery uh, not yesterday the day before I went in for surgery at about one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I did not get out of surgery I was out of surgery and I was awake at 8 he um, took a long time to do my surgery because my my doctor is like a perfectionist and um, he uh, had I had did the whole of those and then once he kind of stood back he said he didn't like certain things about it and he wanted to make it better so he changed it I guess which I don't know, I guess he just changed it, whatever, however he does that, so it took a while to get it done. It took about five, six hours. So I was, I got into recovery about eight o'clock, and for the recovery time, and like, uh, once you're in recovery, and that night after the surgery, it was definitely really rough. Uh, waking up from anesthesia sucks. Like, I felt like crap, and... I, uh, I felt really nauseous, I was so hungry, and, um, it just, I, like, felt so drained. And that night after surgery, I decided to stay in the hospital because, uh, I didn't think I'd be able to make it, like, walk to the car and be able to drive home, have someone drive me home and everything because I was feeling really, really tired and uh, nauseous, so I decided to stay in the hospital overnight. And... Staying in the hospital all night was terrible. I couldn't sleep at all. Um, I kept waking up like every couple of minutes because uh, I was felt really tight in my face and um, I felt really nauseous that night. I did throw up twice that morning at around three o'clock, and um, that was not good. But I mean, after I threw up, I felt a lot better. But I hate throwing up, so it was terrible during. But uh, I haven't thrown up since then at all. Uh, yesterday I was going to make a video, but, uh, I wasn't really feeling up to it at nighttime, so I decided to just make it this morning. So, yesterday I was really up and down. I was sitting in bed all day. Uh, it was like, it's kind of like, it's not as painful as I thought it would be. There's not really much pain to it. I mean, there is pain sometimes, but it's not as painful as you'd imagine it would be. Um, uh, it's like, uh. An overwhelming feeling of congestion in your nose and your whole head like you feel like you have the worst cold of your life like if you live in a cold area you'll know that like th 
that feeling like when you walk outside in the winter and it's freezing and you breathe in that really cold air in your nose and it burns in your nose, that's kind of the feeling. Or if you like, say you accidentally breathe in some water and you get that burning sensation in your nose, that's what it, that's what it feels like to me. Uh, just that kind of burning and that congestion everywhere, like everywhere, like even up here I feel like it's just all congested. Um, as far as bruising, I didn't get it as bad as some people that I've seen, which is good. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. It's definitely manageable. Um, as long as you take, you know, your pain medication and, you know, just relax, you'll be fine. Don't move around a lot. Um, the only time I ever move around is when I feel like I'm so congested. I'll stand up and kind of walk around in a circles and that'll kind of make the, uh, congestion kind of drip out, which is good. And I do my nasal spray three every three hours, which is you definitely got to do because it really helps. And it Q-tips and wipe out all the crud and stuff, and it makes you feel a lot better afterwards. Uh, I tend to get nauseous afterwards a little bit just because of, you know, doing that, but then it helps my nose feel a lot better. But yeah, that's pretty much been my days. Uh, not too bad with the pain, but it does hurt a little bit. And it's mostly like congestion and headache is pretty much everything. So let me just show you what I have kind of set out here. Um, so basically, I have kind of like these supplies that I've been having here every day. So this is just because I'm about to have some oatmeal for breakfast. But, you know, I got my remote, my phone. I have a lip balm, peppermints for nausea. And I have an apple juice, a cold uh, glove filled with water, cold water, ice, and then a rag if I need it. And that's basically just stuff that kind of eases everything, makes me feel better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to update you again tonight to tell you how today went, and then I'll continue updating you throughout the days. So really quick, let me just show you what it looks like. That is what it looks like currently. And I really like it already. Like, it looks kind of pushed up like this, kind of like a pig nose right now, if I could describe it, because it's round and kind of pushed up, but that's because there's so much swelling on the top. So once the swelling goes down, the nose will kind of relax down, and I'm really excited to see how it looks. So yeah, stay tuned for the next day. Hey guys, so today it is now the end of day three. I got my surgery not yesterday, the day before that. And it is now the third day, or the second day after surgery, the third day, including surgery, uh, after I got it done. And I gotta say, today has been really bad. Um, pretty much all day I had the same problem with extreme congestion, like extreme congestion in my nose. Uh, and it's really giving me this headache all day. My upper lip is hurting a lot now. It's really hard to eat uh, and chew. And I, I've been rinsing out my nose. And since the last time I rinsed out my nose was about an hour ago, I've been having this issue where it's like I can feel a lot of congestion and snot moving around in my nose. Yeah, you can probably hear it too. <laughs> and, but it won't come out. So it's just sloshing around in there. That sounds so bad. And it's just making me even more congested and even more pressure. It's just killing me right now. Uh, Pain-wise, it, it still hurts. The congestion hurts really pretty bad. Uh, I've been trying to drink water and stuff. Uh, it doesn't really make me feel any better. I've been really nauseous, too. And... Um, yeah, this just really sucks. I, it's just terrible. I hate it. I'm just hoping tomorrow will be better. Also, last night I forgot to mention that I was having this problem where when I would try to go to sleep, I would fall asleep for a second and then I guess my mouth would close. And then I'd go for a little while that breathing and I'd you wake up like, <gasps> like gasping. Which is kind of scary because every time I would doze off, it would happen for like an hour or so. I couldn't, it wouldn't stop doing that. And finally, I got it to where my mouth, I guess I'd just stay open when I would sleep. 
yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. I don't want to talk anymore because it hurts too bad, so I'll update you guys again tomorrow. So what's today? Thursday. Today's Thursday. So I got my surgery. How many days ago? Yeah, Monday, got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. Three days. Okay. So today's the third day after surgery or the fourth fourth day including surgery. And um, the pain's pretty much gone away a lot. Uh, today I noticed mostly I still have a lot of the head congestion and the headache. But most of the pain seems to be centralized around the center of my nose where the sutures are. Um, been really congested. Uh, the bleeding has pretty much stopped. Uh, now it seems to be just be like clear liquid. I guess just mucus or whatever it is. I don't know. Um, I have a bit of pain though when I rinse with the little nasal spray they give you. But you know that's fine. Um, no what no more nausea pretty much. That's pretty much gone away. The bruising under her eyes is actually almost all it's gone and pretty got pretty lucky it didn't get a lot of bruising out of my eyes. Um how about what do you think? Chris is here with me. <laughs> I don't know how to get a lot of bruising. Yeah. Still do I look good. do I look how do I look? <laughs> like, I'm see that. Apparently I still look beautiful. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think I think I've definitely gotten past the bad days, and I think the next couple days are going to be pretty, a lot better. Uh, my doctor says I might get my sutures and splints out on Saturday, which is awesome. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so I'll update you again tomorrow. Okay, so today is the fourth day after surgery, fifth day if you include the surgery. And uh, today was really, really, really good. Uh, it's gotten so much better. Um, I still have the pain in the like the bottom of my nose where the sutures are, but um, it's definitely lessened today. Um, it only happened like sporadically throughout the day. Um, what I'm noticing now is uh, more upper palate pain in my mouth and some tooth pain, but it's not really that bad. Um, my bruising is almost completely gone, and um, I'm still pretty congested, but again, it's getting better. And um, I'm still pretty swollen around my forehead um, and around my nose and my cheeks and that stuff, but that's also going away, starting to go away too. And uh, today I was able to go out to Outback for dinner and out to a couple stores afterwards, and I felt fine walking around and, you know doing everything. Some people were looking at me, but it really didn't bother me at all. And, um, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to be getting my sutures out tomorrow and the splints out tomorrow. And I'm a bit nervous for that, but I think I'll be okay. So yeah, that's all that happened today and I'll update you again tomorrow. So today is Saturday. I got my surgery on Monday and today I got the stitches taken out and the splints taken out. And I was like so, I was like so astonished, like how good it looks. It's still really, really, really swollen. So like my bridge is about right now is about two times as wide uh, as it usually is. So um, once that goes down, it'll look a lot more slim. But um, yeah, everything looks good. He said it looked really great. I'm really excited about it. And um, since they took out that stuff pretty much the pain, the pressure, it's like gone away, especially the pressure has gone away. I'm no longer congested, which is really good. The only thing I notice now that hurts is the incision is kind of tight because it's still swollen and it's still healing. So if I laugh, I kind of have to hold my lips like this so they don't spread out too far because if they spread out really far, it hurts really bad. So that's the only pain I'm having right now. It's just the incision. Um, if it gets kind of cold, and I was outside and it was a little cold, that really kind of irritated it as well. But otherwise, um, I'm pretty okay. My cheeks are definitely still swollen, kind of the sides of my face and my forehead. But 
after having that stuff out, hopefully within a couple days, that'll all be gone too. Today I decided to just put a little eye makeup on because we were having company over and um, I just felt like looking nice. I haven't done my makeup in a while, so it felt nice to put a little on. Um, also, I, if you notice, like if you can see on the sides of my nose here, they unfortunately I'm getting these like scabs on the inside of my nose from where the splints were sewn into my nose. So those are really annoying because they're like right there in the front and they're really visible. Um, so I try, I'm going to try to rub those and moisturize those so they can go away as fast as possible. That's it for today. I will try to update you again tomorrow on how everything's going and if anything changes. Alright, so today is Sunday, so it's six days since my surgery. We're almost coming up in a week tomorrow. And today was great. I didn't have to take any pain medicine at all. And, um, I just, you know, we went out into town and went to a couple different stores today. And, um, I'm just kind of getting normal now. I've been putting just eye makeup on these last couple of days and some under eye concealer to cover up my, kind of this, bruises that are going away that are kind of yellow. But yeah, pretty much nothing new today. Just, it's been really good. Hardly any pain. And, um not congested anymore. I do have these a lot of scabs though on the inner parts of my nose right here which from the stitches which are really annoying but um, I'm just gonna let them fall off. I don't want to pull them because I don't want to make it bleed even more. So but other than that everything is going good and I will update you again tomorrow. Hey guys so today has been exactly one week since my surgery and everything is going really great. Again I have no pain. I didn't have to take any pain medicine. Um, well, I have a little pain, but I don't really need medicine for it. Just right here on the tip of my nose. Um, and sometimes it feels kind of like when you breathe in water. Um, kind of that sl kind of slight tingling and numbing. Not numbing, um, burning pain um, that you can get if you inhale water. That's kind of what I've, I'm feeling every once in a while now. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. I think it's looking great. It's still really swollen, but in a week or two, that should be gone down a lot. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you found this helpful, intriguing, you know, helped you out a little bit if you're about to get the surgery. And I'll see you next time. Bye.